Welcome to this week's hot spot that is hotter than two cats fighting in a wool sock. Wow! The Defense Research and Development Canada, or DRDC, and Colt Canada have developed an integrated assault rifle concept for the Canadian Armed Forces. That's a lot of Canada, eh? Eh? This gun looks like it should be in a movie where there is a lot of butt kicking and explosions. In addition to more firepower and improved accuracy, the gun is integrated with smart electronics and accessories so soldiers can generate and or receive data from the command and control network. In the next phase of development, automated target detection and assisted target engagement will be the subject of an in-depth study in the future small arms research project. To help get you started on solving your EMI and RF issues, Arc Technologies is offering an engineer survival kit. Upon opening the kit, you'll notice a frequency graph on top of the lid, which will allow you to reference your trouble spots and guide you on what materials to use first. Here's what the kit contains. A DVD introducing ARC technologies, sample pieces of various three-dimensional shapes that demonstrate the endless possibilities of mechanical design once a solution is found, a WaveX heat shrink absorber that is 3 8 inch expanded inside diameter, Additional sizes are available upon request, and sheet absorbers of various frequencies intended for users to cut to shape and place on their EMI RF noise sources. Each sheet is labeled appropriately and consumers can visit the links below for a tutorial video on the kit. Volvo Cars, the Swedish Transport Administration and the Norwegian Public Roads Administration are working on a project to enable cars to share information about conditions that relate to road friction, such as icy patches. The information will be shared through a cloud-based network to road administrators as a complement to existing measurement stations along the road, which will help better plan and execute winter road maintenance, something that we definitely would need here in Wisconsin. And finally, one of the things that I am very passionate about in this industry is STEM. And I was very honored to screen the movie Spare Parts before it came out in theaters. The movie focuses on the Falcon Robotics team from Carl Hayden Community High School in Phoenix, Arizona, and their journey to building an underwater robot for the Marine Advanced Technology Education Center's remotely operated vehicle competition back in 2004. The movie was great, but my favorite part was getting the chance to interview the coaches and some of the alumni members of the team. It was interesting to hear about some of the things that were kept out of the movie and about some of the things that were added to make it more appealing to a movie audience. Both the movie and the interview demonstrate how it is important for schools to include STEM programs within their curriculum. We invite you to watch the full interview by clicking on the link below and to join us next time for the second half of the interview, which includes the current robotics team at Carl Hayden Community High School. Well, that's all for this week. Feel free to check us out on Facebook and LinkedIn. You can also visit our YouTube page for more entertaining videos because, hey, they're fun. Watch them. I dare you. For WDD, I'm Megan Zimba, and I will see you next time in the hotspot.